Now, often on this show, we talk about uh, the Koch brothers and other folks that uh, are buying our politicians and the reasons that they do it. So, for example, they want lower taxes so they could keep more of their billions, or they want less regulation. But oftentimes, you don't see the real results of that lower regulation. So, for example, when the EPA does not regulate their plants, what happens? Well, Brave New Foundation, led by Robert Greenwald, went and investigated a town in Arkansas where that is exactly what was happening. First part, we're going to show you here, and they've got the whole video on KochBrothersExposed.com, and it's fantastic. But let me show you a small clip here from uh, somebody from that town, Mr. Bowie, uh, explaining uh, the problem here. Let's watch. We have 15 homes in this area, and maybe 11 people has died or more with cancer, and that's unreal. What's going on here is a crime. Oh, it's just a waste. My daughter Letitia died at 43. She grew up in the neighborhood. She had a husband, a devoted husband. She had children that she really and truly loved, and I think that she died too young. She was a non-smoker. She, she was not a drinker, and she got lung cancer. And you know, you'll wonder where, where did it come from? These people are sick. They're dying. This is inexcusable. <coughs> That's murderous. Great Good to see you, you again. again. When I met Mr. Bowie, I could not believe what was going on in this neighborhood. I think it has to do with our environment, what we smell, what we inhale. We were deer hunting in the back, and we noticed that there was such a strong, strong odor back there. <coughs> the smell was so strong and so bad. It was awful. I started noticing in my river the sheets of black coming downstream. The color's different, the smell is different, the whole river is different. It's rough. Whatever's in it is killing these trees. They have cut this huge channel and it's like an open sewer line. Okay. This is where the smell is coming from. <laughs> you can see the steam coming from this stuff. And at times it gets so bad it's like a big cloud. And it, it gets up in the water air and it flows right over the trees where our property is. It is our mission to find out what it is, who's behind it, and how to stop it. It causes the throat to be sore, eyes to hurt, nose, and it's hard to breathe in. The first time that I came here, I saw the color of the water. It was like an epiphany. This right here, this private property, but if you could follow it in a straight line, you would be at Georgia Pacific's plant owned by Coke Industry. It's pitiful that Coke allowed this kind of a stuff to be dumped, just dumped in the wide open like this. Once I saw this, I knew Coke Industries were the culprits. They know that these people are sick. So, uh, is this just happenstance? Well, let's look at more of the numbers. And by the way, Mr. Bowie is a minister and a, a reserve deputy sheriff and a leader of that community, and he's the one that's been tracking this and showing everybody. So, some of the numbers, first the one he mentioned in the video, 15 houses on that street on Penn Road, 11 people died of cancer. Now, it's not just older folks, it's that, as you saw in the video there, a 43-year-old gets cancer, dies, okay? Uh, and it's not just that road. A nearby school ranked number one in the country for uh, being exposed to substances that lead to cancer. They are, and you see it with your own eyes, there it is. It's in, the, in that reservoir that they've created, and they're putting that pollution in, and the steam is coming out, and it's killing folks. So when they say, yes, less regulation, Think about Penn Road. Think about that community in Arkansas. That has real effects, and sometimes deadly effects. That's the effect of them buying the politicians. Now, how do they get the EPA to back off? Instead of doing their job and saying, hey, wait a minute now, the community's being hurt. We're supposed to represent the citizens. Instead, they turn a blind eye. How do they do that? They buy the politicians that we were talking about. In fact, here's KochBrothersExposed.com telling you exactly which uh, politicians they are, and they got them on tape, watch this. The Koch brothers basically bite an anti-environmental Congress that has single-handedly tried to eviscerate and gut environmental regulation across the board. I'm proud of the work Koch Industries brings to my district. 
it's cheap at the price. It's certainly a lot less expensive than actually having to retrofit factories. The EPA will have doors locked and the lights turned off. Coke Industries not only manipulates the political process, but more importantly to me, is they manipulate the public into believing that the EPA is killing jobs. The EPA is intent on taking matters into their own hands, which will result in a bleeding of jobs. It is a problem when politicians are calling EPA and saying, leave them alone, rather than calling them and saying, do your job and clean it up. Workers in my state don't want to see the lost jobs, 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 that EPA's big government takeover would bring. They're sickening, man. They use jobs as an excuse because they all get paid by the Koch brothers to look the other way as people actually get sick and some of them die. Those are the real life consequences of our broken system where these guys can buy our politicians to do their bidding. There is a real life consequence and I'm glad someone's at least exposing it. The whole media should be doing this all across the country. They should be finding people who are actually affected by these laws and regulations and how the Koch brothers have put an end to those things and have, are trying to shut down the EPA, trying to shut down protections for citizens. It's really grotesque what they're doing.